Let's talk about the rally. We're all going on a rally, April 30th through May 3rd, and you guys are going to. We're staying at three of the nicest hotels in the area. We're gonna stay at the Westin. Then we're going to San Francisco proper, which is a beautiful modern hotel. Also, the Santa Monica proper. 2,500 bucks is all included. We are also bringing the mobile car wash vans to make sure everybody's cars are spotless clean along the way. We're bringing the tow truck in case anybody breaks down. And we're driving out in a beautiful, um, not like a box truck, but like a truck and a trailer <laughs> to carry everybody's luggage. That's right. We're going all out. It's gonna be very, very, very cool experience. So um, April 30th through May 3rd, you could rent a car from us, which obviously costs more extra than the $2,500 rally entrance fee, or you can bring your own. So for 2,500 bucks, jump in your Mustang or your supercar and let's roll. All right, so I'm gonna get the uh, tow truck in the back of here and we'll just winch it off. Cool? Welcome to another retarded build series. But y'all don't say that. That's a 400 mile A12 super fast. And uh, yeah, it went off the road, hit a small tree. Now I gotta fix it. But, if I can get in the tow truck. Um, but it's all fixable. And it's actually pretty epic because it looks, it looks moderately easy. I mean, the pieces just all go together. Um, there is some additional pieces that I didn't think I needed to put on this car before I bought it. So I'm a little surprised by some lower rear suspension, but other than that, it's all good. Just a quarter panel on a door, you know? Let's get this thing loaded on my truck so we can drop it off into the bay and break it down a little bit more. Think of this car. You like it? Yeah? Cool. I got the Carly approval. We need a door. Okay, we know that. We got, we got a little damage right here. This is a quarter panel. I mean, the quarter panel extends this entire structure all the way right here, okay? Probably need a tail light, the thing that holds the tail light. And uh, this is a little bit of a small repair here, but it's not that bad if you look at it. It's kind of designed to do this. So in the wheel area, we're ready to brake disc. We're ready to hub, hub down there. And in the wheel, it's kind of folded. So we're gonna need a wheel. And most likely a tire, because I think this tire's shot too. But other than that, I see a fender liner. I don't really see too much uh, down here. The, uh, and you can see the little things like the exhaust valve. It's in perfect position. So it just, uh, it just passed that little back area right there. And it just broke that knuckle. Um, I don't know, it's really hard to see, but uh, you actually can see it right there. It just broke that knuckle, and there's some axle grease on there, obviously, as you can see. Uh, here's parts of the bumper, you know, not salvageable, but uh, what these little grills and all these little things, this little support right here, all of that adds up into so much more money. So having all these pieces are great because you can get the wiring harness, the parking sensors, all of those things. Um, with, with this, see like a big piece right there. So let me move this for us. Trying to flip it over maybe. Or you can just, just push it and grab it. Yeah. So like that piece right there, guarantee you that piece 10,000 more, you know? So small wiring harnesses like this, you know, we could probably even fix those. Uh, these parking sensors in here. I mean, all this stuff right here, it all adds up. So we got to make sure that whenever you get a crashed car or wrecked car, you get the uh, you get the pieces with it. So we've got the pieces, got the exhaust tips, little grills. Um, I'll replace the bumper, obviously, and uh, the tail light, tail light housing. It's uh, it's gonna be pretty simple. Uh, I think this job is probably like three to four weeks. We're gonna probably get started on it maybe tomorrow or the next day. I'm gonna get it off the lift and. We'll assess a little bit more damage once we get this wheel off. Calper. 
This will use to be the carbon disc brakes here. So usually we have a full carbon disc brake and this is just the carrier. It's a very full design so it has these pins that usually hold the actual disc together. This is the nut that holds the rear axle together. This part up here just holds the uh, trailing arm here to connect, that kind of holds the knuckle together, holds all the suspension pieces. This controls the uh, four wheel steering in the Ferraris. So this joint here is just like kind of like a little actuator. So it helps it turn. This is the interior here. Car has 400 miles on it. Airbag has been deployed. So we're really, uh, getting this all repaired and replaced as well. Outside, everything looks pretty, doesn't look too bad. I mean, we're gonna get the whole door replaced. Other than that, the car is actually really good condition. Yeah, it's going. I can feel it. Jesus. For those of you that say I don't work on cars, This is the knuckle itself. So this is kind of what holds the uh, rear wheel and drive shaft all in place. Ooh, power on. This is all busted too, you can see. It's all ripped. It's the issue you're running into, dear. Everything. It's stuck. And I can't, I can't see the top of this, so I don't know if it's uh, by the way, guys, apologies for the uh, background noise. We are in the detail bay, so. So far, we're removing the suspension. So here it is, it's all magnetic ride control. As you can see, it's pretty bent. Uh, got a little bit of fluid leaking on the bottom here. This is all the magnetic so ride So why fluid. did this take you uh, a little bit to get off? Because you were struggling on this. Well, struggling because uh, we couldn't get the bolt out, which is the big bottom one here. It runs through the center of the lower A-arm here. And as you can see, the lower A-arm is hollow as well. So when we're trying to take it out, it, um, the bottom here is bent. So it's kind of like a little bit of struggle to remove So the accident the bolt. bent it and it was yeah. much harder to remove. Yep. But here it is. Here's all the rest of the uh, damaged components out here. So we got the knuckle, suspension, the brakes, and the wheels as well. Not only is it bent out here, but on the inside, inside the barrel is bent as well. It's all electronically like, controlled, so for aerodynamic purposes, these doors open and close. So this is all the control for that. Lower A-arm. This is damaged out here too. This is cracked. So this is the only major damage part. There is the lower part of the knuckle. Because it is bent. And once we have all that out, it'll be pretty much done. Until we get the parts. There it is. Ferrari. Meow.